Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This will be from the 28th of March to the 3rd of April 2022. So I hope you're well. And remember these readings won't be for everyone, just take what resonates for you as always. So two cards wanted to fall there. Let's go with it. We have Be Assertive. So maybe asserting yourself this week. And we have forgiveness, that could be self-forgiveness or forgiveness with somebody in your external environment. Doesn't mean that we allow people into our lives necessarily when we forgive, but it just means that we make peace and don't carry negative toxic energy with us. Okay, let's see what we have for you Libra. Message for our lovely Librans, thank you. Starting with the overarching energy overarching energy we have the ace of wands new beginning is the overarching energy it's a new door new beginning very exciting uplifting with that we have the magician in the challenge position the hanging man is the advice from spirit six of swords The star we have faith and we have the six of cups bottom of the deck we have the four of wands yeah Libra there's a there is a new beginning here it feels for some of you it involves healing um, now this cannot, I mean, the Four of Wands, the Hierophant, the Six of Cups, these can be energies of love, romance, relationships, home, family, again, on some level, whatever that would mean to you. So this is either about the home and family or something that's affecting it. Because the Ace of Wands can also be the energy of, of opportunity. It comes in big bold this opportunity it's very refreshing it's very exciting uh, very good in terms of new business careers new business new jobs new career opportunities enterprise uh, lovely energy of real potential with this new path now in love it can also be to do with our passion our desire getting the spark back um moving in a new direction of real potential here so for some of you it feels in this energy if it's to do with a relationship this this feels like yeah i'm i'm moving in a direction where i see potential i'm hoping for potential here this is new a new path but we're moving forward and it's looking really optimistic and positive um, there's a chance of real growth here so that's what I'm that's what I'm getting here either about the relationship or it could be something that's affecting that because the magician and the star is manifesting a dream um, this is in the challenge position so there's a kind of energy of this week it feels more like a process uh, more like you're transitioning towards this it doesn't feel that you're going to be at the end game yet but it feels like things are moving forward in a positive way and this is the objective i feel two major arcana here this is absolutely the energy the magician of somebody who takes action who has all the resourcefulness available to them to create the dream to create the reality that they want um, and the star is just blessings from the universe as well to guide you on your path. Uh, this is an energy of transformation, manifestation with real hope. But sometimes part of that journey, part of this transition is just going to require that blind faith, right? You know, um, we're not going to see everything, you know, the magician takes action, but 
generally is very confident that they can create the reality that they want but there is an energy of real hope around this manifestation as well so it feels this is the start of creating the dream creating some kind of new hope and wish but it feels like it's going to be just that transition you know with this as the end goal uh the star is a beautiful uplifting card of optimism uh, fulfillment renewal sense of self very truthful energy very aligned energy very uh finding the way forward here as well finding that way forward we have that with the hanging man and the faith card this is the energy here of like i said there there is a period of waiting here um, now in relationship terms this would be okay forgiveness is involved in this let's just see how it goes and let's be really hopeful and optimistic that we can really transform what has been challenging right so there's absolutely an energy here of okay i'm seeing this new beginning or heading for this new beginning where there's real potential but we just have to wait and see how it goes and have faith it's that kind of energy of i'm not acting i'm not making any decisions um i'm just kind of like processing in this period of transformation while we're trying to create the dream create the hope create the create the wish uh, i'm just hoping and having faith that that's going to happen and the hanged man is just is the energy of just assessing just in that in that period of assessing in that period of watching waiting seeing how something goes you know um so this is the energy of let's see how it goes let's see if we can transform this to really create something beautiful here because the star does come after the major arcana of the tower so it it implies certainly with this forgiveness that something has been torn down uh, a relationship has gone through significant destabilized change and this is where there's new hope faith reasons to be optimistic but this is just somebody who is saying okay i'm going to just surrender and have faith because i don't know how this is going to work out we'll just see how it goes we'll just go through that period of processing getting the information and i will come to that conclusion eventually this is this is just getting the information even getting new information in hanged man energies while you're going through the period of transformation to really see if this is the right path for you you know this is giving somebody a chance to prove themselves if you like in relationship terms now in money career finances this feels like you're being told wait just have faith uh, that you're going to manifest the dream so that could be something that's affecting you your home your family here maybe a period of waiting and surrendering here but absolutely this is going to happen but this has challenged you here because there's an energy of the unknown right now and a lot of kind of giving it up to the universe trusting that it's going to happen trusting that everything's going to be okay so the six of cups and the six of swords we have two sixes so this is where equilibrium and harmony is being restored um emotionally love wise and again the six of swords suggests stress relief um harmonious energy in terms of thought patterns again so energetically this is about harmony in your energy your internal energy your heart your mind um but also in terms of how you see something moving forward and feeling positive this is forward movement forward change going through that transition of moving from difficulty to better times ahead uh and being really optimistic but it's a process you're not at the end game yet so this is absolutely the energy here of of things are looking optimistic the worst is feeling behind you in the near future um 
But, you know, this is just, yeah, I just have to wait and see, you know, I'm just still processing, still assessing to make sure that this is, this is the right path for me. This is going to happen. This wish is going to come true. It feels that kind of energy. And it's to this, the Ace of Wands. So in work terms, this will be, again, things are moving positively. You could be getting communication, feedback, where you can see things start moving forward in a positive way um, towards the vision that you want, towards this beautiful new beginning. But there's an energy here of it's going to be a process. You're not at the end game yet, but it's looking really hopeful. And there is this feeling of just you coming back to yourself as well with this, you finding your happiness again, you finding that delight within, you know. So we have also this energy that, sorry, the Six of Cups can also be, I don't know if I've said it in this reading, but this is, can be a soul connection, um, somebody who we have history with. These cards can also be physically moving from one area to another and being in that process of change too. We have the Four of Wands, the Happy Home, this is also quite a good celebratory energy. So it's the four corners of stability and security. Again, for some of you, home moves might be within this mix. For others of you, this is feeling more solid, stable and secure again with the positive changes, the direction that things are going in the relationship, also external factors as well, how things are moving forward towards the new beginning, this Ace of Wands. So it does feel, Libra, very optimistic. It feels that this is a process for you this week of making peace with what's gone before, however this resonates for you, but absolutely moving towards better times. And again, celebratory energy, the Four of Wands, more stable energy, more harmonious energy as well in the home family relationship. Um, it just feels yeah this is this is moving forward i'm still in this period of, of just you know hoping we're moving in the right direction but things are looking very very optimistic spirit is telling you that it is spirit is telling you that this new beginning is absolutely available to you um it's coming your way so it very good like i said in terms of business career very good in terms of spark passion moving in a new direction of potential where you see real growth um, is what I'm getting that could be relationships okay final message for Libra yeah and this is the energy this week moderation we have, and it doesn't necessarily mean anything's not happening. It is happening this week. Things are moving. Um, you could be getting news. You could be having conversations. You know, this is taking the steps, the actions, the momentum. Things are moving, but it's moving in a moderate way. So we have, is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Trying to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say a little bit of your fancy is good. And bottom of the deck, we have healing. So things, this is recovery. This is things are looking up. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everybody has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. That's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.